Cicada Get It is just around the corner. The store of insects is expected to awaken from its 13 year slumber and people from all over are preparing for this invasion. But what can we expect here in the Wiregrass? WDHN's Brian Bogiano has more. A storm of cicadas is set to emerge from their slumber. These cicadas are parts of two groups, Brood 13 and Brood 19. The last time they both emerged simultaneously, Thomas Jefferson was president in 1803. In Alabama, Brood 19 will emerge beginning in mid-May, but they won't be here long. It's a short-lived insect. It's only going to be around for a couple weeks, and then it'll disappear, and we won't see them again for another 13 years. Brood 19 emerges every 13 years, and Brood 13 emerges every 17 years. They are different from the annual cicadas, which emerge every summer and come from about 20 different species. Even though Brood 19 is the most widespread, will they reach southeastern Alabama? The answer lies in our landscape. It's not a blanket emergence across Alabama. Cicadas do not tend to feed on the sap of pine trees, which are common in the wiregrass. They tend to stick to hardwood forests and new landscaping and do not fly far. A female who lays eggs might also get stuck in the tree and die. On agricultural lands, Schrader says certain practices are lethal to developing cicadas. We're tilling the ground a lot, we're planting, we're you know pushing trees over even to develop new houses. And so any nymphs that were in the ground are being killed that way. She says they are harmless and will mainly stay in hardwood forests, away from home gardens. But they can threaten some landscaping and limit tree growth. But she offers this advice. See what the cicadas are all about and then listen to them and, and, and hopefully enjoy them, although sometimes they get a little loud. Brian Bogiano, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.